Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, we are going to talk about how income impacts your credit score, and it does. But before we do that, I would ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So after my last 75,000 hour video, today is going to be short and sweet. Now, some of you smarty pants may have seen the title of this video and said, Income does not impact your credit score. Everyone knows that and you just wanted to see what I was going to say so that you could put a comment underneath and tell me I was wrong. So yes, you probably know what the components of your credit score are. They are payment history, uh, credit utilization, the number of new accounts you, accounts you have, the length of your credit history, and what's the other one that I'm forgetting? Uh, recent new credit, did I say that one? Types of credit, that was the other one. So it's basically those five components, right? Those make up your credit score, and there's nothing in there that says anything about your income level, right? So how can I make that claim? Well, think about this. When you want new uh, credit or a loan or whatever, doesn't it always happen that they ask you what your income is? Yes, there's always gonna be something on the form that it says, what is your income? And it's probably gonna ask you what your expenses are as well. So when you have, are going after new credit or you're going after a new loan, if you've been around the block a couple times, you probably know that if you have more income, you are more likely to be approved. So somebody that has, say, a 700 credit score, if they make $150,000, their chances of approval for a certain loan or maybe at a certain rate on a certain loan are going to be better than the, another person that has a 700 credit score but only makes $50,000. Why? Because making more money suggests that you have more money to pay your debts back, especially if your monthly expenses are not, you know, particularly any more than someone who is making less money than you. If you're making a lot of money and you've got lifestyle creep, uh, you know, it may not matter. But if you have managed to keep your expenses at sort of the same place they would have been if you were making less money, then obviously you're going to look, uh, you know, like someone who can afford to pay back a loan. Now you might say, Adam, you're talking about credit approval or loan approval. You're not talking about the impact of your income on your credit score, but of course I am, just indirectly. Because when you have a higher income and you are approved for more credit or more loans, or you are approved for credit or loans with a higher uh, you know, available credit than somebody else that has a lower income, then that means you can open more credit lines. It means that you're going to have more available credit and that this, of course, is where the credit score comes in. If you have more credit lines, if you have more available credit, then that means your credit score is going to grow faster. So if you make more money, you are going to be able to get more credit, bigger credit lines, and grow your credit score faster than somebody that has a lower income. So even though the income itself does not have a direct impact, it does impact how much credit you can get and when you can get credit, that impacts your credit score. So the income does make a difference, even if not directly. Now, even if you buy what I'm saying, obviously you could then say, well, what does that do for me? My income is what it is, right? So, okay, yes, maybe somebody that makes more money than me can get a better credit score faster because of the fact that they can get more credit, but what does that do for me? Well, unfortunately it doesn't do much for you, except I just wanted to make this point because I think that sometimes people obsess about their credit score and they obsess about sort of minuscule things to do to try to improve your credit score. Yes, it is good to you know keep your uh, debt at a low level in comparison to your available credit. And you know it is important to you know make sure, obviously it's important to make sure you get your bills paid on time. But some people you know are very uh, sort of obsessed with exactly what date you should pay your bill, uh, you know how, what percentage you should leave on your uh, you know your loans or your credit cards so that when it reports to the credit reporting agencies, it's going to you know give you this uh, you know just just a perfect storm in terms of getting your uh, credit score, just the highest place that it could possibly be, squeezing that one or two extra points out of it. And there's no reason not to do that, I guess. But the other thing about it is you're taking up a lot of time thinking about something that is having a very small impact. 
Now, obviously, not everyone is in a position where they can, you know, just go out and make more money instead of, you know, obsessing about their credit scores, right? So really, I'm not trying to say anything along those lines. Really, what I'm getting at is, uh, you know, you want to look at your overall financial picture. And if your financial picture gets better, well, then your credit score will sort of fall, follow. Things will, you know, sort of fall into place, assuming that you do the big things right. You don't need to, you know, worry about every percentage of your credit utilization or whatever. If you're making more money, if you're better, uh, you know, if your financial picture is better, then a lot of those things are just going to fall into place. So the point of this video is not really to tell you to stop worrying about your credit score. You should be paying attention to it. It's not even really just to tell you to make more money. It's just to tell you that your income does impact your credit score. And so, you know, if you're spending a lot of time thinking about your credit score and thinking about all the minutia of how to make your credit score higher, one of the things that will make it higher indirectly is making more money. So that's it for this video. I'm not sure if I really got to a point at the end, but at least I got that income credit score thing squared away there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we talk credit cards, personal finance, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thank you for watching. Bye.